Farmland birds have shown significant population declines in Scotland and indeed across Europe since the 1970s. But research has shown that many of these declines can be reversed through the implementation of agri-environment scheme measures. Here at Hopewell Farm near Tarland in Aberdeenshire, Anthony de Winton has implemented many of these agri-environment scheme measures on the farm and we're going to have a look today at how those are helping farmland birds. Stubbles left over the winter can provide a food resource for seed-eating birds, um, but it really depends on how much seed there is available in the stubble. Modern stubbles can be quite bare. Some will have a, a certain amount of spilt grain, which can be good for things like yellow hammers. A lot of the smaller birds, the finches, like to feed on weed seeds, so they really need a certain amount of weed growth in the stubble. Here at the edge of this field, this stubble field, we've got quite a lot of growth of chickweed and uh, uh, shepherd's purse. Obviously there's a balance to be had, you don't want the weeds to smother the crop when it's growing, but by restricting herbicide applications in, in the uh, spring and summer, it's maybe possible to allow a little bit of weed growth without uh, compromising the crop. The field margins deliver a number of benefits for farmland birds. In the summer when the vegetation's grown up, they, they can provide nesting cover for things like um, grey partridge in the, in the long grass. When you establish this mix, you've included a really good variety of nectar producing flowers. So we've got uh, knapweed, we've got oxide daisy, I can see yarrow, ribwort plantain, a really good mix of tall growing flowering plants that will provide a, a, a food supply for um, insects, butterflies, bees, uh, hoverflies and the insect life that these margins support then in turn provide food for, for the birds to feed their chicks in the summer. Hedges can provide a safe nesting site for a number of farmland birds. If it includes flowering species like this one does, things like uh, blackthorn and hawthorn, it's an important resource for pollinators, particularly early in the summer, and that in turn provides uh, an insect food supply for, for bird chicks uh, through the summer. In the autumn and winter, Things like hawthorn provide berries for things like thrushes that come here in the winter. It's important to provide these benefits in terms of dense nesting cover, abundant flowers in the spring and berries in the autumn. So Anthony, what research has shown is that farmland birds need three main things to, uh, to flourish in, in the farm environment. One is a safe nesting site. Secondly is uh, an abundance of insect food for the chicks in the summer because the chicks are largely fed on insects and the third thing is uh, an abundant supply of seeds and that type of food in the winter time. So I think what you're doing here is really helping deliver all those three things. So we've got a good habitat here, yeah. bed and breakfast. <laughs> 